Hi friends, today we are going to see how to multiply two matrices in Java. To multiply two matrices, we need to know the row size and column size of the two matrices that we are going to do. That is, in our example, we can take matrix 1 and matrix 2 are the two matrices that we need to multiply. For example, we can take input that given by user for matrix 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Here, 2 first 2 represents the row and second 2 represents the column. Row into column of the matrix 1 is 2 cross 2. And the same way, matrix 2 is also accepted. That is also in the format of 2 cross 2. Now, for a valid multiplication of matrices, one rule is used for checking. That is, matrix 1 dot column need to be equal to matrix 2 dot row. That is, in our example, this 2 cross 2 matrix is taken. Here, the column value of matrix 1 is equal to the row value of the matrix 2. So, this is a valid matrix for multiplication. Then, the result will be here, 2 and 2 will be get crossed and the resultant will be a row value of matrix 1 that is 2 into the column value of the matrix 2 that is 2. 2 cross 2 will be the resultant output that we obtain after the multiplication. We can see the multiplication logic with an explanation after completing the steps that need to be followed. After applying the mat matrix multiplication, the result is printed as the same way. Now we can move on with the explanation. As I said, this is the matrix 1 value that has accepted from the user and this is the matrix 2 value that have been accepted from the user. Here, this represents a row and this represents a column. Here, 1 is at the place of 0, 0. Next, 2 is at the place of 0, 1. Then, 3 is at the place of 1, 0. And 4 is at the place of 1, 1. In the same way, matrix 2 also placed. This is for just understanding. This block diagram will give the correct understanding for multiplication. Here we can see the how to multiply this. Row 0 and column 0 of the matrix 1 element, that is 1, need to be multiplied with row 0, column 0, element of matrix 2. That is nothing but 1 in our example. So 1 and 1 is multiplied. That will give us 1. After calculating, keep it aside. Next, we can move on with step 2. That is, first row 0 and column 1 value of the matrix 1. That is, for our example, 2 is at the place of row 0 and column 1. And that should be multiplied with second matrices row 1, column 0. That is 3 as per our example. So 2 into 3 is multiplied. That gives us 6. Now 1 and 6 are added. The resultant will be 7. And that will be placed at the position of row 0 and column 0 of the result. In the same way, other blocks element, that is row 0, column 1, and row 1, column 0, at last row 1 and column 1 also filled for the output. We'll explain that too. Now, as we said, the same way, 1 is multiplied with 2. Then 2 is multiplied with 4. That is, 1 into 2 will give us 2 and 2 into 4 will give us 8. So 2 plus 8 will give us 10. That is placed at this position. This row 0 and column 1 to position. Next, we need to fill row 1, column 0. So as the same way, 3 and 1 is multiplied. 3 into 1 will give us 3. Then 4 into 3 will give us 12. 
3 plus 2 will give us 15 and this will be placed at the row 1 and column 0 to position. At last, this, this block need to be filled. That is row 1 and column 1 of the output need to be filled. Here, this is taken. That is 3 into 2 is multiplied. Same way, 4 into 4 is multiplied and it is added. That is 6 plus 16. 6 plus 16 will give us 22. The displaced at this block. The main thing is we need to multiply this and place the element at the correct position. Now we can move on with the coding logic. This is the same thing that we saw in the first slide. That is, for example, we can take 2 cross 3 is the matrix 1 value and 3 cross 1 is the matrix 2's values. Now, here 2 cross 3 matrix and 3 cross 1 matrix need to be multiplied. As we said, we need to check row 1 column value. That is 3 in the example and matrix 2's row need to be taken. That is 3 in our example. Here 3 equal to 3. So the multiplication can be carried out. As we said, 3 and 3 gets typed off and the result value need to have 2 cross 1. Okay, we can take this 2 for printing the 2 of the result that we need to take as i and for printing j that is column value we can take j as 1. Then at last k. k is used for calculation of multiplication of matrix 1 and matrix 2. As discussed, I is placed for printing the or calculating the row result. Then here J for column result and K for calculation. That is, you can see that how we can read this I. I the second two is at the position of I. That is I into 3. 3 is explained as K in the diagram. So I K matrix 1 i k into matrix 2 k j 3 is represented as k so matrix 1 i k into matrix 2 of k j will give this result as say each and every multiplication need to be added and placed accordingly so for each and every multiplication we need to add the so formed result at the time and we will be storing at last this output will be printed this is the output value of the matrix that we have been obtained we will be moving with the coding part now as discussed we need to get the input value of row 1 column 1 row 2 column 2 that is matrix 1 th once row value and column value need to be Consider from the user and matrix 2's row value and column value need to be taken from the user. Then it need to be checked for validation of matrix multiplication. Then multiplication of matrix 1 and matrix need to be followed. We will explain with this code now. To get this input, we need to use the scanner class. So we will be importing java.util package. To use the scanner class, we need to create the object that is scanner class name. Yes, is equal to new operator, then scanner class name, and then we need to pass system.in as an argument in order to get the input from the console. Next, this line represents the row one value, that is matrix one row. Next, here it accepts the column value of the matrix one. So matrix one's row value and column value will be accepted. Next, at this point, row 2 and column 2 will be accept, accepted. That is, matrix 2's row and column will be accepted from the console. After accepting rows and columns of a matrix, we can check for matrix validation. Column 1 need to be equal to call row 2. That is, matrix 1 column need to be equal to the matrix 2 row. If it is correct, 
it enters into the matrix multiplication else at n we will be having the code that given matrix cannot be multiplied if it is a valid it enters into the matrix multiplication calculation matrix 1 is the first matrix and it will have the row 1 column 1 one size this is how we need to declare the array to declare the array we need to state what is the data type now here in matrix we are using integer so int is used and it is a two dimensional array as we stated rows and columns are taken to the consideration so it is a 2d array so here we have taken this and the size of the array need to be given as java is an object oriented this is considered as a object here so in order to declare the matrix this is the syntax first we need to give the data type then what is the dimension then we need to give the name equal to new operator then what is the data type here in our example in then we on we need to pass the size that is row 1 and column 1 the same way matrix 2 also assign next it will accept the row value it will accept the matrix value now at first matrix 1 value need to be taken that is here it represents the row value and here it represents column value for column row 0 and column 0 first the element is taken from the console next int will take the input from the console and will assign to the 0 comma 0 likewise all the value will be taken and assigned to matrix 1 next it accept the value of matrix 2 here each and every integer is taken until it reaches the row 2 call 2 that is size of row and column size the input is taken from the console and it is assigned to the matrix 2 also so at this point matrix 1 value and matrix 2 value is accepted from the user next at this point the output need to be calculated as stated before this is the how we need to declare the array so output array is uh, used to get the matrix multiplication result and get stored at last we need to print it here this is the logic that we have saw in the ppt here i say it right output of ij equal to output of ij plus matrix 1 ik into matrix 2 kj the same thing we have wrote written in the code 2 after calculating the output value that is matrix multiplication value we can print at last here this is an output first matrix 1 value that have been accepted is printed in order to explain the user that matrix 1 value have been accepted properly the same way matrix 2 value also printed at last the output value that have been calculated that is matrix multiplied value will be printed in our program output is the value that will store the matrix multiplication so we can print the result and see how it as we saw in our example we can take the same two cross two matrix first it accepts the row and column of matrix 1 again it accepts the value of matrix 2's rows and column and it start accepting the elements of matrices we can see as stated matrix 1 is displayed then matrix 2 is displayed at last the result is displayed this is the multiplication of matrix 1 and matrix 2 that is output array will give the invalid multiplication array that is 
that is column value of matrix 1 will be differ from row value of the matrix 2 say will give the column of the matrix 1 as 3 here and you can see that column value of matrix 1 is different from matrix 2 so the incorrect message have been thrown that is error message have been displayed that matrix is not valid for multiplication hope you understand this video thanks for watching